Hello everyone and welcome back to FTB Sky's Expert, where today things are going to look a little bit different. That is because I have upgraded my setup. I have a second monitor. Finally. It's been so long. But that means that my resolution is a lot better. Because my other monitor can now be used for chat when I stream. I'll be streaming again soon, I promise. But... That means for here, we have a much smoother and more clear viewing experience for me, I guess. I don't know how well that translates to the uh, video, other than things being a little bit smaller. If I have to increase the size, do let me know. If I have to, I will. But I do enjoy this. Now, what do we want to do today? Other than me getting attracted at how good this monitor looks. I uh, want to get into the magics. To get to magic, we need white rock, which is going to be this guy. Uh, white rocks needed to get into elemental craft and other magics. You'll need to create a few in the enchanting apparatus, but once you have enough to make your petal apothecary, you'll find a much easier method using a pure daisy. Cool. Uh, so, enchanting apparatus, we're going to need a couple enriched peat. I'm going to assume it consumes. How much do we need? A lot. We'll need five for the petal apothecary, which is what I'm assuming we're going to need. Yeah, petal apothecary. It'll give us the mystical white petal. Yeah. It wants us to make a pure daisy. And an inert crystal block. Oh. Which is source gem blocks. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That'll be fine. So we need to get... Five enriched heat. Which is going to be a total of six. Let's see. I've been doing peat down here. I should have some spare. Is it? No, it stopped. Okay. Uh, let's see. Super cooler, I believe. Oh, it needs biofuel, biomass, right? Um, so we're gonna need some bone meal and some coal dust. <laughs> Eight total. Do I have two bones somewhere? Certainly hope so. Uh, mm. Oh no, I only need one. This is fine. I'm probably also going to need... Yeah. Okay, so in you go, in you go. Oh, that makes up a whole bunch. Right. I only need to put one in there. That makes 500. 500, we'll make three. Yeah, okay. Oh. There we go. Alright, so that's the peak done. Now we need soul powder, earth essence, and blocks of. Oh, blocks of coal, no. Is there a way to make blocks of coal? Different way? No, it's just coal. That's unfortunate. So we need to sift a bunch of gravel then. All right. Well, I guess that means I am going to be 
sifting for a bit. I'm going to need a lot of coal. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, and with a quick sifting, we now have... Uh, uh, it's just six. There we go. So I've got six of these. Uh, I've got... Where's... Oh, there we go. Six inch peat. And I have a powerful earth shard, which I can use to get the uh, earth stuff. I also need to make a new pickaxe. So let's do that real quick. Where is it? There it is. So we'll put this next to the source. We'll put the powerful air shard in. That'll give us nine of the uh, earth stuff. How did it go much faster than that? And then we need to break these. Um, place some. That's done, we'll replace it. There we go. And we do need a source gem. Oh, I forgot about the source gem. Uh, but that's what? Lapis? That's easy. Oh, I had a ton. I didn't even need to come over here. Wow. Uh, let's make sure, actually. Yeah, source gem. Yeah, let's be easy. Maybe I'll skip over this. And with that, that is our last one of this. Uh, so we can put that in there. And it'll go. There we go. White rock. Perfect. Slow folks compress balance. Ah, I get that reference. Because clay and mod packs are super balanced. Nothing wrong with them at all. Alright, so that's two. About to be three. And we need five for the pedal pop carry. With some water essence, which is quite simple actually. It's quite simple really. Boom. I think. I don't want to stop at just five. We'll, we'll do the sixth one. Why not? Maybe we'll find a use for it. Maybe I'll just leave then. That'd be funny. Man, I just like this animation. Like, come on. It's good. Oh my gosh, that used... A lot of source. Okay. All right, so we need one of you. Faster, please. Thank you. And uh, you. A pedal. Do we have a pedal? We should do. Yeah, I've already got a mystical white flower. Do 
have any petals though? Probably not. What flowers do I have in here? None? Oh, just this pink one? Okay. Let's put that in there. Grab this. We'll use this petal. Uh, so that is the pedestal done. Hello? There we go. That was weird. Boom. And then we'll take this this white flower and I don't like gave us a petal. Well, that's not... That's not great. Um... No, I guess... We can do... This. Put that in there. Grow it tall. And then do I break it, or... Uh... For science. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Um, put that in there, drop four, and a seed, which I'm sure I've got, yeah. Boom, here daisy. It also wants inert crystal block, which is easy enough, because I need a source gem. Alright, so that's going to be another... Lapis run. Alright, source gem block. And we'll need a piece of dirt. There we go. We'll put this... Put it over here. Right over here. In fact, this is actually a pretty good spot for it. That there, that there, and then we'll wait. I feel like it's uh, going gradually, which is kind of cool. Is it? Or is it just an opaque block? Interesting. Uh, let's see here. What were the rewards? Tiny potato. Okay. A floating pretty seed. That's actually really good. Okay. Can I... Can I see the uses of the pretty daisy if I... Oops. Do this. Yes. Cool. Dreamwood. Oh, we can get dreamwood this way. Okay. Inert crystal, living rock, yes, blue ice, netheract cobble, oh, endstoned cobble deep slate, stripped to regular, okay, mesh to obsidian, ice to pact, soul sand to sand, water to snow, moonstone to sky stone, blackstone to white rock. Okay, so nothing big. We do have this now. Now we can go to sleep. And that is the floating pure daisy collected. And... Contained crystal. It wants us to do this now. So, let's unpack these. Get our elemental pedia and a contained crystal. We can enhance its conductivity and make it more receptive to elemental energies. Gold nuggets. Fair enough. I think I've got some. I I hope. Uh, 
So we'll place that around. That's a contained. And that should give me another one, right? Oh, no, another four. All right. And that'll take me to the element evaporator. Although, that does open this, which is the same quest. Okay. Small element container, a small and element evaporator. That gets, it's gonna need some iron. Oops. So about eight iron? Okay. So I need slurry. Means I need more cobble. Hello? Stop, please. Um, actually, no, I don't. I have this. Place that down. This should go. Not very fast, but it's going. Where's that goat? Should be two, so that's good. That means we can make this at least. <coughs> Hold on, how did it go? Oh, a piece of glass. Do we have glass? Oh yeah, sweet. Small element container, uh, which needs to be captured to be used. Element evaporator directly onto an element container, and then insert elemental shards. The evaporator will begin collecting this and storing the energy in the container. Uh, elemental shards, is that these? Interesting. One more. Quaker, gosh. Uh, two more glass. I'll let this go. So now we've got these. Elemental container. Now let's grab. Well, let's look ahead. Wants us to do the elemental infuser. Takes an item and infuses it with the elemental energy piped into it from the container under it. You can pipe from other containers into the one at the bottom of your wrist. Because for more than one, let's see. Okay. And then that will have us make the elements of crystals. What is springling though? Amethyst with water. So I'm gonna need water shards. Cool. I also see the other thing I'm gonna need that I am not looking forward to. Alright. So if we take this over here, to our magic area. Let's say we're gonna put this right here. That on top. Put that in there. Yeah, okay. Which means... If I make another small element container I can put the other thing on top of it. I hope that's how this goes, at least. So we need these two, one in the center. Boom. And then we need to make this thing. Which, oh, would have been fine if I had the iron nuggets. If I didn't use that last iron ingot. No. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna make a stone hammer real quick. Doesn't it be heated? It does. Okay. So I just need to take you back. Uh, you. in there. There we go. That should do that. Oops. Perfect. Now I've got the iron nuggets. Iron nuggets. What? What am I talking about? Alright, so that is that. Off we come over. Ooh. See, that's why I have the, uh, the light drawn. If we come over here, pop that there. No? Oh. Why are you so rude? Okay. Alright, there we go, I think. Uh, maybe. Hold on. Not you. Uh, this one. Click the pipe connection to toggle it, or make it pull from a container it's on. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Put that on there. Oh, we can get... Oh, uh, okay. Oh, and it gave us another one. Ah, I'm silly. Okay. But it wants us to make... One of these. So, I'm gonna pop that on there. Right? No. Oh, oh, I see. There. And that makes a water. Nice. And then this wants me to make a sprinkling shard, which needs amethyst and a bunch of water. Amethyst has to come from piglins. Which means, oh, it also gives me a budding sprinkling crystal. That's a lot, though. No. Budding Shrine, which takes quite a bit. But if I put Springlink Fluster on it? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, uh, let's see. So we need to go to the nether, and we need to find... No. Piglin. I'm not looking forward to it. But we need to go. Now, I do have fireworks. This will be like a good way for me to travel around using fireworks and just flying. But, I don't think 9 is going to be enough. I'm also pretty sure. Oh, no. Oh, I just gotta slap it. Okay.
Where's my insect? Did I put it way over here? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's probably fine for now. We'll do that. That. And while that goes down, I want to look into our Zuvo. A little bit. Because... I want to make this novice notebook, which I actually should. I can complete uh, this quest and then go put it over here. And then attach a book. <laughs> book and some elements we have a novice spell book beautiful although we do need to check that first there we go uh potion of spell damage and an iron apple excellent and the glyph of launch well the scribes table will be the first thing we want to make this one fairly simple do i have no? No, that's fine. Uh, doo -doo. Uh, I should have some gold nuggets already. Yeah. Uh, so now we'll go here. Boom. And I actually want to put this right here. Now, with the scribes table, uh, one of the most important blocks within the mod, it is used to create spell glyphs which allow you to make more spells. Right click the table with the spell book to open its GUI, then click the glyph you want to craft. Um, it'll tell you what ingredients are needed, then sele click select when ready, throw the ingredients on top of the table, and the glyph will be crafted. When you, you can also inscribe spells to be used in the spell turret. Cool. Uh, this will give us the glyph of place fluid. Ooh. And some experience. Does this like drain from a tank? Okay. Um I also have glyph of cuts. Source jar, source relay, pretty cool. Source stone. Arcane pedestal by eight. And another source relay. Dominion wand. That'll be good for other stuff. But for now, we want to make a glyph of launch. Which is going to be three rabbit hide and a air essence. How do I get rabbit hide though? with carrots. Hmm. I feel like there was a way to do this. Hold on. It's one. This is gonna get chaotic. Aha! No! Stop jumping off platform. Oh, here we go. Come on, please. Don't drop, drop off the platform. Just give me your hide, please. I have two. I need one more. It's right here. Okay, the rest of these can stay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now it said to place the book here, and we want to do. Oh, 
Can we not learn launch? Select. Okay. And we'll need lift of air. Which I don't think I have an extra, do I? Nope, that's unfortunate. Okay. Where is my air shard? There we go. Now I give up that. And boom. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and we have unlocked launch. Uh, let's see, we hit C, and we can say self launch create. Uh, in fact, uh, we'll, we'll name it fly. And now. This will work. Yeah, this should work. But that is gonna have to... Actually, real quick. Mana might be a problem. Let's go ahead. Get some Mage Bloom. Just any seed with four... Source gems. And then we can grow with Mage Bloom Fiber. I... That's going to take a little bit. So, let me go ahead. I will do that real quick off camera. Um, I mean, the... The Source Gems are going to take a little bit. But realistically, it's just another bit of enchanting with a... Seed. Uh, and then I'll be growing those seeds and getting the fibers and stuff. You guys don't have to watch that. I'll take care of it. But next time, we'll get those fibers. We'll make the armor just so that we can... Because this should give us some mana and mana regen. Uh, and we can even see what we can do about upgrading that further. But either way, we will be going to the nether. But until then, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.